Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a fireman sour because even heroes need a drink every once in a while. Now, having said that, the drink comes to us circa 1930s. However, I've seen it stated that you can also find it in Hugo Enslin's Recipes for Mixed Drinks from 1917. Now, I did look, and I couldn't see it in a copy of the book that I was reviewing, and that was the second edition. So if you happen to have a copy and you see it in there, please let me know. Or if the other person is wrong, definitely let me know. Now, this is a shaken cocktail, and we're going to use a little bit of egg white with this. So we're gonna start this off with your shaking glass and a little bit of white rum. Now, you can use any rum you want. However, the recipe calls for something that's between one to four years in age, and you don't want something dark because it's going to uh, change the coloration of this drink. Now, we need a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters. Your next ingredient is lime juice. So grab your glass, move it off to the side, and we need a total of one ounce of lime juice. So what we will do is we'll grab your lime, give it a bit of a roll just to make sure that everything starts to come apart easily. We'll cut this in half, then we'll cut out a wedge for our garnish and squeeze one ounce or 30 milliliters into the glass. Your third ingredient is grenadine. Um, if you want to use a homemade grenadine, that's fine. It'll be a little bit darker in color. Yeah, you don't need a lot. This is the same spot where you're going to get the sweetness from as well. So we're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. Your fourth ingredient is what's considered controversial nowadays because it requires egg white. Um, you could use some aquafaba if you want, which is a vegan alternative or something like a magic foaming bitters. However, I'm going to use the traditional egg. So what we'll do is we'll just crack this and drop the white inside. Once you've separated your egg, put your yolk away so that you can save it for something else. Then the next thing you're going to do is dry shake this. So what you wanna do, grab your cap, make sure it's on good and solid because what hap what's going to happen is you're going to get a little bit of pressure that's going to try and expand this directly off. So give this a little bit of a flip. I'm just gonna pop this off again, slap it down, and I'm gonna shake it hard, and I mean hard, for a good five seconds or so. Now, one of the things that you will notice is that you're bound to, even with two straight metal tins, because this is not cold, it doesn't create a locking vacuum, so you will get a little bit of moisture that will spray up when you do this. So, if you don't have, say, a Boston tin like this and you're just using something uh, like one of these with a cap, you know, you're gonna be much better in some cases, but even with those, you can still get a little bit of spray. So just keep that in the back of your mind. So what we're going to do now is we are going to add a little bit of ice, and you don't need a lot for this. You just need a couple of good solid chunks. And what we'll do now is we're just shaking this to chill this down. And we wanna make sure that we have a good lengthwise movement of the shake. That way we get more foam as well while we dilute and chill this. Now the good thing is you just have to shake it hard. Um, and it's going to do exactly what you need it to do. So grab yourself your glass of choice. In this case, I'm using a double rocks glass. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slap it off this, and then I'll just fill it up with some fresh ice. Ha! Did you see that? Um, and you know what, we'll just fine strain this in now. One of the reasons you fine strain is just because A, you wanna keep out any ice chunks, you wanna make sure there's no meniscus from the egg white. It'll also make the foam tighter, so it will last longer. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous and a fire engine red to boot. Grab yourself a lime wedge, put it right there, and here you have a fireman sour. <laughs> Fantastic. Mmm. Really good. You can taste the rum. There's a light sweetness and you get that citrus flavor there. It is slightly sour with a hint of pomegranate. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look after the recipe card right up here.